es gibt nur ein Gebot, die Helme auf und festgezogen, es geht um Volk und Land, frei Kurser, die Grenze rennt, in das Gewehr zur Hand. Frei Kurser, die Grenze rennt, in München an. In Schlesien wollten sie mit Macht von deutschem Land ein Stück. Frei kurz waren die Grenze rennt, wir schlugen sie zurück. Frei kurz waren die Grenze rennt, im Baltikum am Rhein. Frei kurz waren die Grenze rennt. Der Sieg will unser sein. Wir kämpfen nicht für Bonds und Blut und nicht für Gold und Geld. Frei groß waren die Grenze rennt für eine zerbrochene Welt. Frei groß waren die Grenze rennt als Folge von der Sein. Frei groß waren die Grenze brennt, auf dem liegt hart kein Heim. Wir ziehen in einen Krieg hinein, den wir niemals gewollt. Frei groß voran, die Grenze brennt, als Söldner ohne Sold. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Fairfax County Sheriff's Office at 4.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The Fairfax County Sheriff's Office are investigating multiple reports of homicides being committed at Colchester overpass and areas near Clifton. The victims have been found heavily mutilated by either an axe or a hatchet by an unknown individual. As of now, there is currently no information on what the individual or suspect looks like. All residents of Fairfax County in the town of Clifton are ordered to stay indoors and remain vigilant at this time, lock all doors and windows. Don't go outside for any reason. If you see any suspicious activity, call 911 immediately. Stay tuned to this station for further updates regarding this event. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Fairfax County Sheriff's Office at 8.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Reports of murders in Fairfax County has dramatically increased over the past few days. The suspect still hasn't been identified but civilians report seeing a person in what looks like a bunny suit but with red spots. It has been confirmed that the red spots are blood stains but the suspect hasn't been confirmed as the murderer. All residents living in Fairfax County are ordered to continue to shelter in place immediately and remain vigilant at this time. Lock all doors and windows. If anyone is outside your home, don't let them in as it might be the murderer or the suspect. If you see any suspicious activity or the bunny suited person, dial 911 immediately. Stay tuned to this station for further updates on this developing situation. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Fairfax County Sheriff's Office. The situation regarding the murders in Fairfax County has severely worsened. At 9.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 
The bunny-wearing individual is confirmed to be the murderer responsible for the murders in Fairfax County. He was last seen killing a few police officers and state troopers in Colchester Overpass. The identity of the bunny man is still unknown at this time. He was last seen wearing a bunny suit with blood on it and is armed with a hatchet and an M16 assault rifle. All residents of the whole county are ordered to shelter in place immediately. Lock all doors and windows. Turn off all heating and air conditioning systems. Close all lights. Gather enough food, water, clothing, medical supplies, a flashlight and a battery-powered radio. Don't use the telephone. The telephone line should be kept open for emergency use. If anyone comes to your house, don't open the door as it might be the murderer unless it's law enforcement. Stay tuned to this station for more updates on this developing situation. This is a civil danger warning for all of Fairfax County and surrounding areas. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Federal Emergency Management Agency. At 9.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the bunny man is reported to be attacking and killing anyone in its path. He's armed with an M16 assault rifle and has detonated bombs across the whole county. In addition, he has taken the mayor of Fairfax County hostage if his demands aren't met in the next three hours. All residents of Fairfax County are ordered to continue sheltering in place. A mandatory curfew will go in effect from 08 p.m. to 06 a.m. If you're caught after 08 p.m., you'll be arrested and questioned. Don't approach the bunny man as he's considered armed and dangerous. Stay tuned to this station for more updates on this developing and life-threatening situation. This is a civil danger warning for the whole state of Virginia. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Federal Emergency Management Agency. At 03 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. The situation that originated in Fairfax County has spread to the whole state of Virginia. Many residents have reported that a bunny-wearing individual is committing acts of terrorism such as bombings and mass shootings in the whole state of Virginia. This bunny-wearing individual is being supported by gunmen wearing Russian military-style combat uniforms, and they're also supported by Free Corps units of the disbanded White Canadian Army. These gunmen are armed with military-grade weaponry such as assault rifles, submachine guns, machine guns and sniper marksman rifles. In addition, the bunny-wearing individual is confirmed to be a former member of the Soviet spy ring, Perseus who is named Viktor Kuzman. Victor Kuzman is confirmed to be leading these acts of terrorism in the whole state of Virginia. All residents of the whole state of Virginia are ordered to evacuate the whole state of Virginia immediately. If you refuse to evacuate, you're putting your life at risk. Gather the essential supplies for the evacuation such as food, water, clothing and medical supplies. The exception for this evacuation order is police officers, state troopers and the Virginia militias helping state authorities. The Virginia National Guard is going to be deployed to the whole state of Virginia to deal with the situation by helping state authorities and the militias. Stay tuned to this station for more updates on this developing situation. We interrupt your normal programming. This is a state of emergency. Please stand by.
The following message is transmitted at the request of the government of the Dominion of America, the Junta and Justice Party and the Eastern National Guard. Please listen to this message as it's pertaining to emergency that's happening in the East Coast. At 08 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. A violent situation originating in Fairfax County has spread to the whole state of Virginia, has spread to the whole Eastern Dominion. Many citizens have reported that acts of terrorism such as mass shootings, bombings and militant rebellions and political assassinations are occurring over the Eastern Dominion. Many people are claiming that a bunny-wearing individual is behind the attacks. In addition, the bunny-wearing individual is confirmed to be a former member of a Soviet spy ring who is named Viktor Kuzmin. Viktor Kuzmin is confirmed to be behind the terrorist attacks and is being supported by his terrorist group, the Gilead Revival Army which is made up of former WAAWCA members and army deserters. They are armed with military-grade weapons of both Soviet and American origin, and wearing Soviet-style military uniforms. All residents of the Eastern Dominion of America are ordered to shelter in place immediately. Gather necessary supplies for your stay in the shelters. If you can't find supplies or shelters, dial 911 immediately. The Eastern National Guard will be deployed to the Eastern Dominion to deal with the situation. Don't approach Victor Kuzman or the armed gunmen as they are considered armed and dangerous. Stay tuned to your local stations for more updates on this developing and life-threatening situation. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Government of the Dominion of Canada, the Canadian King's Party and the Canadian Armed Forces. Please pay attention to this emergency message as it's in conjunction with the state of emergency that's affecting the Dominion of Canada. At 9.40 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the Dominion of Canada is currently experiencing acts of terrorism throughout the whole country which includes the capital of Ottawa. These acts of terrorism range from car bombings, political violence of all types, ambushes of soldiers and law enforcement and assassinations of politicians such as ministers, secretaries and MPs. In addition, the group behind the terrorist attacks has been found, a group calling themselves the Gilead Revival Army has claimed they're behind the attacks, their leader who is a former Soviet spy named Viktor Kuzmin, who is also known as the Bunny Men of Fairfax County. Their intentions is to overthrow the government of Governor General Kenneth Collier of the Dominion of America, Governor General and Field Marshal Perry Las Marias, and Premier Ivan Zakhiv. All residents of the whole Dominion of Canada are ordered to shelter in place immediately. Lock all doors and windows, turn off heating and air conditioning systems, close all lights, gather essential supplies for your stay in shelters. Keep a battery-powered radio to listen to more updates. Don't approach any GRA soldiers or Victor Kuzman as they are considered armed and dangerous. Stay tuned to the CBC for more updates on this developing crisis. This is an intergovernmental meeting between the governments of the British Empire and the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. This meeting is only available to ministers, secretaries and members of the Junta and Justice Party of the Dominion of America, the King's Party of the United Kingdom, and the Democratic Socialist Party of the Soviet Union, with level 5 clearance and above. A situation is currently ongoing in the east coast of the Dominion of America. On April Fool's Day, an explosion followed by gunfire rocked the county of Fairfax with around 50,000 fatalities including the mayor of Fairfax and the premier of Virginia as a result from the shooting and explosion. The perpetrators are known as the Gilead Revival Army led by a former Soviet spy named Viktor Kuzmin. Their aim is to restore Gilead and kill General Kenneth Collier, General Perry Las Marias and Premier Ivan Zakhiv. The attacks have spilled into the Dominion of Canada, the Canadian Soviet Socialist Republic and the Republic of Quebec with the fatalities reaching 150,000. This will not stand and be tolerated any longer. All those associated with the GRA or any GRA insurgent will be tracked down and interned in Guantanamo Bay, Verkuta and the Kingston Penitentiary. The GRA will wish it never existed at all. 
Eastern National Guard units have been deployed all across the East Coast to prevent or slow the attacks. The Eastern National Guard will be supported by the deployment of British and Soviet soldiers to also deal with the situation. This concludes this government broadcast. Viva la triumvirate! This is an important meeting for high-ranking generals in the British Colonial Unified Command structure. The situation regarding the Gilead Revival Army has severely worsened over the past few days. The Gilead Revival Army, which has been turned from a guerrilla insurgency group to a paramilitary of trained paramilitary soldiers equipped with infantry small arms, military vehicles and high-grade explosives have captured Washington DC with the GRA massacring the inhabitants of DC and killing members of the Junta and Justice Party. This has led to an increase in attacks by the insurgency wing of the Canadian GRA and the Dominion of Canada. Therefore, the general staff have planned Operation Invictus, which shall be implemented in a week's time. The operation shall be done in three phases. Phase 1 will be the resettlement of evangelical Christians in relocation towns in Churchill, Yarmouth, and the territories. There will be an increase in army patrols in Canada and America to help with the AEF to fight back against the GRA. Phase 2 will be the internment of GRA insurgents in southern Ontario and the Michigan Peninsula as it's a strong hotbed of GRA support and where evangelical Christians reside. Army and law enforcement will be given the powers to intern suspected individuals without trial. Phase 3 will be the implementation of the Hearts and Minds policy on the Canadian population to boost numbers in the RCMP and the British and Canadian armies. This will be crucial to the operation as it'll be a moral boost. This operation has a 90% chance of success to militarily defeat the GRA and to control the situation. If any soldier is refusing to follow orders or caught deserting will be shot or sent to a labor camp. This is a direct order from Field Marshal Perry Las Marius. This concludes this operation briefing. Thanks for listening. God save the king, and long live the British Empire. This is a message for the armed forces of the Dominion of America, the British Unified Command Structure and the Soviet Red Army. With the success of Operation Invictus, Operation Retribution is ready to be commenced. The operation shall go like this. We will select nine of your squads to be turned into assassination squads. Once that the assassination training is completed, your goal will be to assassinate high-ranking members of the Gilead Revival Army. Your squads will be armed with weaponry from the Second World War to distinguish your squads from regular infantry. Refusing to follow orders or caught deserting will result in forced labor or being shot. This is a decree from the Governor General of the Dominion of America. This concludes this military briefing. Внимание, внимание! Следующая передача передается по просьбе областного правительства Канадской Советской Социалистической Республики. Это не тест. Пожалуйста, обратите внимание на эту трансляцию, так как она касается региональной чрезвычайной ситуации. 18 часов 14 минут. Канадское стандартное время. Сообщения о взрывах и террористических актах поступали по всей Канадской Республике. Об этих террористических актах сообщалось в Новом Сталинграде, Троцкевиле, К. Маркс, К. Калашников. Кроме того, подтверждено, что за этим нападением стоят те же террористы, которые называются армией возрождения голода и пытаются свергнуть господство Америки. Премьер-министр уполномочил Советскую Красную Армию и спецназ действовать в ЧССР, Дуи и Доминионе Канады по просьбе генерал-губернатора Кеннета Кальера и фельдмаршала и премьер-министра Перри Ласмуриаса для разрешения ситуации. Всем жителям рекомендуется либо эвакуироваться, либо укрыться на месте. Если вы не будете следовать этим приказам, вы подвергнете свою жизнь риску. Попытайтесь применить насилие к солдатам, вас застрелит, поскольку это представляет собой акт восстания против социалистического государства Советский Союз. Это было сообщение от BCC RD филиал сети USSR и BBC. Оставайтесь с нами на этой станции для получения дополнительной информации об этой развивающейся ситуации. Attention, attention. 
The following broadcast is transmitted at the request of the regional government of the Canadian Soviet Socialist Republic. This is not a test. Please pay attention to this broadcast as it's pertaining to a regional emergency. At 6.14 p.m. Canadian Standard Time. Explosions and acts of terrorism have been reported across the Canadian Republic. These acts of terrorism were reported in New Stalingrad, Trotskyville, Markstown, and Kalashnikov City. In addition, it is confirmed that the perpetrators behind this attack are the same terrorists which are called the Gilead Revival Army that are trying to overthrow the Dominion of America. The Premier has authorized the Soviet Red Army and the Spetnaz to operate in the CSSR and the DOA and the Dominion of Canada at the request of Governor General Kenneth Collier and Field Marshal and Prime Minister Parry Las Marias to deal with the situation. All residents are advised to either evacuate or shelter in place. If you don't follow these orders, you're putting your life at risk. Try to be violent to the soldiers, you will be shot dead since it constitutes as an act of rebellion against the socialist state of the Soviet Union. This has been a message from BCCRD, a branch of CTUSSR and the BBC. Stay tuned to this station for more updates on this developing situation. Это послание Красной Армии от Кремля и премьера Советского Союза, правительства Советского Союза и Социалистической партии. Через несколько дней в ближайшее время будет проведена операция репрессалий. Эта операция будет проводиться в два этапа. Первый этап будет включать неизбирательные бомбардировки советскими ВВС районов и городов, принадлежащих ГРУ. На втором этапе будут задействованы все подразделения Красной Армии и гарнизоны в ЧССР, чтобы штурмовать города, подавить все оставшиеся сопротивления и захватить всех сдавшихся повстанцев КРУ. Эта операция имеет 92% шанс на успех, и для ее успеха крайне важно контролировать текущую ситуацию и восстанавливать закон и порядок. Любой солдат, отказывающийся подчиняться этой директиве или будучи пойманным на совершение военных преступлений, приведет к тому, что вас расстреляют или отправят в ГУЛАГ, поскольку это считается актом мятежа и нарушением Женевской конвенции, которую социалистическая партия подписала со своими союзниками. На этом военный брифинг заканчивается. Не подведи нас. This is a message to the Red Army from the Kremlin and the Premier of the Soviet Union, the government of the Soviet Union and the Socialist Party. In a few days' time, Operation Reprisal is being enacted shortly. This operation will be done in two phases. Phase 1 will involve indiscriminate bombing of areas and cities owned by the GRA by the Soviet Air Force. Phase 2 will involve all Red Army units and garrisons in the CSSR to storm the cities and mop up any remaining resistance and capture any surrendering GRA insurgents. This operation has a 92% chance of success and it's crucial for it to succeed as to control the current situation and restore law and order. Any soldier refusing to comply with this directive or being caught committing war crimes will result in you being shot or sent to a gulag as that's considered the act of mutiny and a breach of the Geneva Convention which the Socialist Party has signed with its allies. This concludes this military briefing. Do not fail us. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Government of the Dominion of America. At 6.39 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. The situation regarding the GRA has severely worsened. The Washington Division of the GRA, which is being led by Victor Kuzman are currently being involved in heavy street fighting in many cities across the eastern states of the Dominion. They are currently fighting both National Guard units, British and Soviet Russian soldiers law enforcement such as police officers and free court militias. All residents of the Eastern Dominion are ordered to continue the following instructions. The curfew will still be in effect. Martial law will be declared as of 03 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to help control the situation. 
Stay tuned to your local station for more updates on this developing and life-threatening situation. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Government of the Dominion of Canada. At 9.30 a.m., Eastern Standard Time. The crisis regarding the GRA has only severely worsened. The GRA has increased their attacks in all the affected areas especially the capital Ottawa. In addition, the GRA has been confirmed to be increasing their attacks on military checkpoints, police stations, military and police barracks. They are also confirmed to be doing reprisals on civilians in the affected areas, in particular targeting Catholics, Protestants and Mormons. They are now using the tactics of car bombings, political assassinations, raids and acts of sabotage to increase their attacks. All residents of the Dominion of Canada are ordered to continue to follow the same instructions. Martial law will still be enacted to help maintain law and order. Stay tuned to the CBC for more updates on this developing and life-threatening situation. Внимание, внимание! Это радиопередача правительства Канадской Советской Социалистической Республики. В 7 часов, 8 минут по стандартному Тихоокеанскому времени. Ситуация из горя обострилась еще больше. ГРУ увеличивает свои атаки на правительственные военные здания, используя тактику, такую же как, тактика «Бей и беги», засады, акты саботажа и убийства. Кроме того, снайпером ГРУ был убит премьер-министр ЧССР. В связи с этим премьер СССР отдал приказ о переброске дополнительных солдат для контроля над ситуацией и восстановления правопорядка в республике. Всем жителям ЧССР приказано продолжать следующие инструкции для обеспечения вашей безопасности. Военное положение будет объявлено в 20 часов 38 минут по стандартному Тихоокеанскому времени, чтобы также решить ситуацию, связанную с увеличением числа нападений. Любой, кто будет увлечен в нарушение военного положения, будет арестован и допрошен. Оставайтесь с нами на BCCRD, подразделение BBC City USSR, чтобы узнать больше об этом развивающемся опасном для жизни кризисе. Attention, attention. This is a broadcast from the government of the Canadian Soviet Socialist Republic. At 7.08 a.m., Pacific Standard Time. The situation regarding the GRA has escalated even further. The GRA are increasing their attacks on government and military buildings by using tactics such as hit and run tactics, ambushes, acts of sabotage and assassinations. In addition, the premier of the CSSR has been assassinated by a GRA sniper. As a result of this, the premier of the USSR has ordered the deployment of more soldiers to control the situation and restore law and order in the republic. All residents of the CSSR are ordered to continue the following instructions to ensure your safety. Martial law will be declared at 8.38 p.m. Pacific Standard Time to also deal with the situation regarding the increase in attacks. Anyone caught breaking martial law will be arrested and questioned. Stay tuned to BCCRD, a division of both the BBC and CTUSSR for more updates on this developing and life-threatening crisis. This is an emergency action termination sent at the request of the Government of the Dominion of America. The Governor General of the Dominion of America will be speaking shortly. Please stand by. My fellow Americans, we did it once again. The GRA is now out of the picture. We have discovered a splinter cell within the GRA that has defected to our side. We then have brought Victor Kuzman, aka the Bunny Man of Fairfax County, to justice. We have captured the main GRA leadership with the help of the splinter cell at 0500 hours Western Standard Time. And rest assured, they shall be brought to justice. 
We have signed a peace agreement with the splinter cell of the GRA to create an autonomous region in what was formerly Ontario, but a small one, so that doesn't have too much presence. This is all I have to say about this. It will be different, yes, but rest assured, it will be one day or another worth it. God bless the United States of America, and God bless the British Empire. This concludes this emergency action termination. We thank you for your cooperation. We now return to regular programming. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Government of the Dominion of Canada. This is a termination to the state of emergency of the Dominion of Canada. A splinter cell of the GRA has captured Victor Kuzman also known as the Bunny Man of Fairfax County in southern Ontario. The threat to the whole Dominion is now over, you may now exit your shelters, however, there is massive damage to the whole Dominion as a result of this emergency. The Government of the Dominion of Canada thanks you for your cooperation, we now return to regular programming. We'll conclude this termination by the playing of the National Anthem. Внимание, внимание! Это правительственное послание, переданное по просьбе правительства Канадской Советской Социалистической Республики. Ситуация с Гре закончилась. Вихор Кузьмин, также известный как Человек-Зайчик из округа Ферфакс, был захвачен с Плинтерса Элгро. Угроза всей республики миновала. Теперь вы можете покинуть свои убежища. Правительство благодарит вас за сотрудничество во время чрезвычайной ситуации. В заключение мы сыграем национальный гимн. Attention, attention. This is a government message transmitted at the request of the government of the Canadian Soviet Socialist Republic. The GRA situation is over. Vikhar Kuzman, also known as the Fairfax County Bunny Man, was captured by a splinter cell of the GRA. The threat to the entire republic has passed. Now you can leave your shelters. The government thanks you for your cooperation during the emergency. At the end we will play the national anthem.
I figured <laughs> it was worth a try. My work was finished before your little act of rebellion. This changes nothing. Tell me where Perseus is. You never understood. Perseus was never one man. It's an ideal. Bigger than any of us. You'll spare me your horse oh, shit. Where the fuck is Perseus? Right here. Cancer took him in 83. No. A great man with great vision. He was not the first Perseus, just as I will not be the last. You're coming with me. There's blood on your hands. <laughs> Big words from the Scourge of Verdansk. Fuck you! 
I wasn't in my right mind. You saw to that. You Westerners. So squeamish. Look at where we are. This was the Eastern Front. The blood of millions of my people so deep into the soil. Men and women who paid the ultimate price for what had to be done. Oh, you're a fucking monster. I should kill you for what you've done. For what you did to me. My life no longer matters. Do what you will. Finish what you started on Rebirth Island. My broadcast was complete. I have changed the world, Dadler. In ways you can't even imagine. Ich bin Soldat, doch ich bin es nicht gerne. Als ich es ward, hat man mich nicht gefragt. Man riss mich fort, hinein in die Kaserne. Gefangen ward ich, wie ein Wild gejagt. Ja, von der Heimat, von des Liebchens Herzen, musste ich hinweg und von der Freunde kreis. Denk ich daran, fühl ich der Wehmut Schmerzen, fühl in der Brust des Zornes Glut so heiß. Ich bin Soldat, doch nur mit Widerstreben. Ich lieb ihn nicht, den blauen Königsrock. Ich lieb es nicht, das blutgewaffen Leben. Mich zu verteidigen, wär genug ein Stock. Wo oh, sagt mir an, wozu braucht ihr Soldaten? Ein jedes Volk liebt Ruhe und Frieden nur. Allein aus Herrschsucht und dem Volk zum Schaden. Lasst ihr zertreten, ach die goldne Flur. Ich bin Soldat, muss Tag und Nacht marschieren. Statt an der Arbeit muss ich Posten stehen. Statt in der Freiheit muss ich salutieren und muss den Hochmut frecher Burschen sehen. Und geht's ins Feld, so muss ich Brüder morden, von denen keiner mir zu leid was tat. Dafür als Krüppel trag ich Band und Orden und Hunger und ruf ich dann, ich war Soldat. Ihr Brüder all, ob Deutsche, ob Franzosen, ob Ungarn, Dänen, ob vom Niederland, ob grün, ob rot, ob blau, ob weiß die Hosen, gebt euch statt Blei zum Gruß die Bruder an. Auf Lass zur Heimat und zurück marschieren, von den Tyrannen unser Volk befreien. Denn nur Tyrannen müssen Kriege führen, Soldat der Freiheit will ich gerne sein. Soldat der Freiheit will ich gerne sein.